Hello folks, Abfielder here with a quick look at this week's snapshot, which is 21W16A. I know we're all getting over the disappointment of the update being split into two parts, but let, let's push on with these videos and see what new features we are going to get with 1.17. And as you can see, I am looking at this dripstone feature. Now, before I carry on with this, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you like about the video, the new features. I'll reply to as many of you as I possibly can, and I'll be doing these videos every time there is a new snapshot. So anyway, folks, we have the dripstone here, and you can see I've got a little bit of a configuration going on. Up here, I have some water. So when a stalagmite is connected to a dripstone block and there is a water source above it, it will grow, but it is incredibly slow, as you've seen, not growing while we've been watching. Now, I've done a little bit of experimentation with this, and if I set it to 10,000, it will grow. We should see it grow, but it is isn't. It is still incredibly slow. Like, if you remember with crops, they are so quick when you go to 10,000, but this is still slow. I mean, if we go to 100,000, at the moment, we're only seeing the stalagmite grow. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just break that up a bit. Let's see if we can get that, uh, if we can get the bottom one growing. That's the stalagmite, I think. There we go. So as you can see, they both grow. Now, if the bottom one is within 10 blocks of a top one, that's what will cause it to grow. Any further away, that would not grow. And it will grow to about seven blocks long. So that's dripstone updates for this week, folks. Then we have azalea bushes. Now, you can see I've been having a little play over here. The change this week is if you bone meal an azalea bush, and that's growing slow because I still have the game tick speed really high. It causes some weirdness. We get the azalea bush. And as you can see, it sort of does this thing where it kind of goes off to the side. And these ones did it as well. Interesting that it does all directions. Is that glow squid? Oh, he's still in. That's good to know. And there we go, the flowering variety as well. And again, they just sort of shoot off in some random direction, which looks a little bit odd. The, the wood is oak logs, which again, a little bit interesting. Don't know if that will change. And then on to the final major change this week. If you ignore the data pack, they are down like they are releasing data packs now, which have the features that will come later in the year. I'm not going to feature those in the quick looks. Don't have enough time to do that. I'm sure people will do that later on tonight. Anyway, we have these changes to the textures. So these are the raw ore. Now, if you remember, we now have iron ore. And um, we have gold ore and we have copper ore. They've changed the textures this week. Not, I'm never convinced by these. I mean, I change my texture pack anyway when I'm playing Minecraft, but I really don't like that. The blocks, however, I do quite like. Now, these are the raw ore blocks. Now, I assume if you put nine of these together, you can create a block. Did not know you could do that, but they've changed the texture this week. And I quite like those. I quite like the copper one in particular. I think that'd be quite good for for buildings and stuff like that. So I may well end up using that. That's quite cool. Anyway, folks, I think that's all the major changes. As I said, if you're interested in the, the changes that are gonna be coming later in the year, Mojang are now doing a data pack. You can download it from their website and that features some changes to things in the caves and cliffs generation. So there are now la lava aquifers, which is gonna make perimeter building an absolute nightmare. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, as I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, say hello. I'd like to talk to as many of you as I possibly can. Folks, I'm Abfielder. That's all I've got time for.